Now that we have things working pretty well, the real game of Space Invaders has different scores for the aliens. So for example, these aliens here would be worth 10, these ones on the second level would be worth 20, and these ones would be worth 30. So how do we do that? Right now in our code, when we shoot a bullet, we can see here we've got code that says, okay, if we shoot a bullet and we hit an alien, we're going to add 10 to our score counter. But what we want to do is add a certain amount based on the alien that we hit. Now, here you can see we're checking to see if we hit an alien, one of these, the super class. Could we check to see if we hit an alien A or an alien B or an alien C? Well, yeah, we probably could. We go into the bullet and do three different checks and then three different if statements, but that would be pretty messy, and that's probably not the best way to go about it. So how do we do it? Well, now that we know a little bit about methods, we're going to go into the alien class. And in the alien class, we're going to go down here, and we're going to make a method. It says public void add score. And in here, we're going to put a comment that says to do in the sub classes. Now what does that mean? That means that I'm going to have one of these methods in each one of these, alien A, alien B, and alien C. So alien A, I add a method called add score, and I'm going to have it add level one dot control space score count dot add, and alien one is worth 30. So I'm going to put a 30 like that. Now I'm going to copy, actually I'll just copy that whole thing, and I'm going to go to alien B, and I'm going to give alien B a method that says when alien B gets hit, we're going to add 20, and alien C, that's the bottom one, is going to be worth 10. So what you're seeing is a method called add score, and it's in Alien C has it, Alien B has it, Alien A has it, and Alien also has it, but it's blank. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go back here, sorry, here to the bullet, and in the bullet, when I hit an alien, we save that alien and we refer to it as E. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this code out entirely, and E represents the alien that we just hit. I think we had an E because originally we called it enemy. It's not a great name anymore. Um, well, it's an alien. Let's call it Al. That makes sense. Al. Al. Why not? And we got to replace that everywhere. So just a few more. Here we go. And Al is a name that we've just come up with. Like we could have called this anything, but, but what we're saying is, okay, we're going to check to see if we hit an alien. Don't forget we are the bullet. We're coding the bullet. We're going to check to see if we hit the alien. If we do, we're going to save it as Al. So Al is an alien. We don't know which alien it is. I'm going to put dot and then control space. And here are all of the things an alien can do, has. It's got a value, a shot gap, all that stuff that we've made. But look, there's add score. If I click on add score and just put a semicolon, it's okay with that. What's going to happen here is whatever alien we hit, we're going to use the add score method. So it's going to call these methods. And depending on what alien it is, it's going to add a certain amount to the scoreboard. Let's run it and see how this works. Oh, they all, oh, they missed. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to shoot one. So the, the bottom one should be 10. Yep. This one should be 20. Oh, I missed. I'm terrible. I can make them, but I can't play them. There we go, that was 20, and this one should be 30. Yep, it worked. Okay. So, it's working. You may ask yourself, why did we have to make this one? Why is there a blank one? And the answer is, if I take this out, so if I comment this out so that the computer doesn't recognize it anymore, then bullet has a problem because Al is an alien 
And if the alien class doesn't have an add score method, then we can't use it. So I have to have this here. There we go. I have to have this here because if I don't, then this line right here will fail. It's kind of like a placeholder. Think of it that way. We know that we've hit an alien, but we don't know which one it is. When we do the add score, that's when it will determine which one it is. It will try to go, it will try to use this method, but since it's blank, it will look for the proper add score to use. You can think of it that way. And that's when those will kick in. And now we've got a different score for each alien. We've got them bouncing down. We're getting pretty good here. So this was a short little one, and all you're doing is you're changing the score of each alien. Last thing I just thought of before I end this one, a better thing to do here instead of adding 30 would be to add score. And you might say, what score? Well, that would be something we would give to the alien. So this alien would have a score of 30. This is alien A. Alien A would have a score of 30. So instead of adding just a random 30, we're going to put score here, and that way the user knows kind of where that 30 is coming from. It's the score of the alien. And also, now every alien A has a value of 30 that comes along with it, and that might be handy later in our game. So I can do the same thing here. Int score is 20 for this alien, and I'm going to add score like so. And again, for alien C, this score is 10. And just to show you that it works the same way, there's your 10, there's your 20. Oh, I did it. There's your 30. Okay.